scream if you're bitten by the living dead. There's nothing you can do but scream. I can handle this myself. No, you're not ready yet. More importantly, we're not certain about the situation here. That's why I'm worried. Something is attracting these airheads. If it continues, we'll lose the city. We must stop it! Is it gathering undeads? Destroy it. That's the only way. Without faith, there's no... With the help of Gorlan, the Legion of Beolords secured Phileos, except for the monsters wandering near the villages. The situation has been alleviated greatly. After the battle in Phileos, Alina notices the clothes of the undead are different from the local ones. Look at the undead's clothes! I've seen those before! The heretics. <laughs> That's what they do. No. Don't draw your conclusions yet. I doubt they would do this to their own kind. You never know. Only a heretic can tell. That's simple. It only takes two days to the mountains in the south. We'll find their outposts there. Let's go then. Take only what's necessary. Thank <laughs> you. 
all dead. I don't think interrogating a maggot-filled undead is a good idea. Someone's hiding over there. What's going on with those undeads? Th those walking dead? The dragon tail. The guard there discovered them first. That's all I know. Dragondale. We're all children of God here. Among the apostates' outposts occupied by the undead, the Gorlanders found a small valley with the heretic survivors. They barely put up a fight. Weak and famished, these people apparently have been hiding there for a while. Though they were very scared of the monsters out there, the captives provided a lot of valuable information. One piece of information explained those undead were first spotted by the guards of Dragondale. In my opinion, those heretics are merely fodder. Needless to say, we must look for another... Spison wants to eliminate the source of trouble, so the city won't be flanked. He doesn't care about the heretics. He has decided that those outcasts were nothing but a sacrifice of the monsters in the west. The answer lies in Dragondale. We must hurry. The trip has taken long enough. Unbelievable. 
Those bodies, they all turned into monsters. Hmm? This powder? It's a forbidden medicine, used to cast curses. Relax, guys. I read about it in a book. I never got my hands on it before. Anyway, that's an important lead. We must keep looking.
With my flag and my blade, I return victorious. Alina and her companions found a special powder that proved the artificiality of the Scourge and Phileos and the Northern Mountains under the Apostate's control. Following the traces of the forbidden medicine, they found the scene of the crime, a cave. Oh my... This cave smells disgusting. Excellent. It's even worse than the Colosseum. I'd be more excited if there was a trace of map. <laughs> Probably nothing but rotten flesh. Eyes are looking around vigilantly. After several battles, these soldiers are now more aware of the threat of death. I can smell the magic in the air. We're getting close. Excellent. We'll burn them all. Mm-hmm. Of course. You're right.
Haha, <laughs> idiots! The army of the revived king has crossed Bilog! I'll immolate you in the name of victory! What? Ah, what a waste of resources. Don't even think about it. I'm keeping an eye on you. I'm not doing anything, Alina's dog. With my flag and my blade, I return victorious! The arrogant, evil sorcerer's mention of a reborn king made everyone uneasy. The scourge in Phileos was just a cover of a more vicious plan, after the source of evil in Dragondale was removed. The scourge's spread has been brought under control. We've eliminated the source of evil. Things in Phileos will get better soon. The forces of Beolod are now spread over Phileos. We will lose Beolod. Are you saying that? Yes, we might still have time, but we can't turn back. Bison believed that the army of the undead wasn't at the City of Being yet. He reminded his comrades that there is still hope, but he knew he had no choice. He must chase after them. The Gorlanders began to leave the cave. That monster is protected by a spell. Our weapons can't even touch it. We don't have time to locate the caster. Great. So are we running to the cave entrance like this? It's like eating spoiled bread. <laughs> they block the way. Those rotten scraps of flesh. Listen, we can't turn back. <laughs> of course. Just a reminder, don't get in my way! I can't hold it! I'm already doing it! It's like... So, who could this revived king be? Hmm. Vilsack, do you have any idea? Hmm. I don't know. Probably the one who revived Augustine. Someone has to take this info to Alan Gall. I can handle that. Don't get yourself killed until we meet again. Especially you, Alina. Violent. I'll be fine. Arcus the First is our most respected person. The Battle of Modenburg restored part of Vilsack's memory about Augustine. That name seems so familiar. 
While his comrades are guessing Augustine is the reborn king, Vilsack has come to a different conclusion. There are many questions to answer, but Alina and the others must focus on their task at hand. As Bison suggested, Isadora left to deliver the message, and the troops were on the march. I wonder if we can trust that woman. <laughs> Too late to think about that. She's on the way home now. Regret doesn't help. I hope she won't turn tail and run away. Uncertainty loomed over everyone in Gulan. Time wasn't on our hero's side, and a well-equipped army that suddenly appeared was making things worse. Hounds of Thorns, you're not going and Heretics! The hell with them! You foolish folder! Mind your own business! There's no time for this. We must deliver the message. Hmm. I don't think mosquitoes care about your mood. I was saying, we have to take care of this quickly. You're going nowhere. Atone for the lies you torture. Ha! A heretic's nonsense. I'll send you to the Hall of Gods. <laughs> How dare you mention the gods after defiling so many lives. This world has no place for you. Violence can solve everything! 